So here we go. We're going to kick it off. First Chronicles chapter 7, verse 23 to 24. I'm reading from the NLT. So afterward, we're going to come back to this afterward because that is loaded. Ephraim slept with his wife and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Ephraim named him Bariah because of the tragedy his family had suffered. Mm. He had a daughter named Shira. She built the towns of Lower and Upper Beth Horon and Uzin Shira. Okay, so what's oh. the after? Well, no, it's, it's a lot in two, yeah. in two sentences, mm -hmm. right? What is the afterward? So we step in in verse 23, but really in verse 21, we see Ephraim, his entire generation of children, go out. They're hanging out. They decide they're oh, going to go steal yes. some livestock, steal some cattle and they are all killed. Mm. Oh, okay. It's like a very jarring start. So this is the emotional energy we're stepping into. This mm. is like the, just the chaos a little bit. Can you imagine the pain of Ephraim? He's lost not just one child, but all of his children. Mm -hmm. He has, he's also navigating the mental gymnastics of my kids may not have been making the best decisions if they're <laughs> trying to steal livestock. Um, mm. Legacy would have been so important. He's lost mm. the entire yes. generation, all of his legacy, all of his economic planning, like all of his pension plans, his RRSPs, this was it. Gone. And they're all gone. Wow. And so in that, so then of course he goes to his wife, they're pregnant, they, and she births Bariah whose name literally talks about the tragedy his family has suffered. They're very much still in that space. And then comes Shira. Now, we're a little iffy about whether Shira is Bariah's daughter or Ephraim's yeah. daughter. There's different yeah. theologians who like, you know, disagree. But what we know about her is she's part of that lineage. Yes. She is a descendant of that family yeah. and she carries their heritage. Okay. And what's so interesting is her name means to be a remnant, a small yeah. but perpetually surviving portion yeah. of a much larger original mass that was eliminated. Wow. So that's what she's walking into. Wow. She's walking into this like emotional space that is complicated, it's yeah. painful, and her name itself speaks to that. It's you are all that is left. There's almost a what are you gonna do with that? <laughs>